What's up, kiddies? An intergalactic family. I am. Oh, gosh. This right here. This is my adult life hack, okay? I love going to Trader Joe's. I've mentioned before that my theory remains that Trader Joe's is the one to two, three household version of Costco. Kirkland brand, if they had like a little, a little sibling. Anyways, life hack. If you're already making tea, like I use a hot water kettle. If you're already making tea and you have like extra jars, just put a like single serving of like one tea bag, two if you like your tea super strong, put it um, in the jar. And then when you're making a cup of tea for yourself, in another jar, pour the hot water and let it, well, you can do this two ways. You can do it one with the hot water kettle, put the tea, hot water in with the bag or fill it with filtered water, put the tea bag inside, put it on the top. And if you live in a hot, well, I guess, I don't know. My hypothesis is that the water would freeze at a certain temperature. So therefore, I do not know if 32 degrees Fahrenheit would be the accurate number to say, like if that's the temperature outside, don't put your tea bag outside. I don't know. This is a scientific question that I'm pondering in real time. And that's not even the point of this. Anyways, life hack, tea bag, put it in here. Either hot water, sit it on the counter, filtered water, put it outside. Let the sun heat it up, bake it that way. That was a passed down life hack. <laughs> um, and then by the time you're done with your, whatever you're doing, you're like, Oh, I forgot I had tea on the counter. So it will be, <laughs> it'll be room, nearly room temperature, hopefully that you can put it in the fridge. And then now you have iced tea. This is what I'm drinking. It's so good. Anyways, I was thinking I'm cooking dinner. Yo, this brand right now, top, it's a top recommendation. I was surprised. I didn't know what to expect when I purchased it. Cause I, you know, try for the first time yet. I was just like, you know what? Let me just give it a go. They get you when they put it on a promotion. It literally water, butternut squash, coconut cream, Pumpkin, onion, safflower oil. Okay, not the best. Cane sugar, also not necessary in my opinion. However, here it is. Sea salt, tapioca flour, would use. Brown mustard seed, yes. Turmeric, cumin seed, curry leaves. There's like actual leaves in here. Fennel, coriander, and cayenne. Like most of those ingredients I would use in my own cooking. So I was like, oh, let me try it out. It's, it's good. And it has like a lot of flavor in my opinion. So anyways, I'm making this soup because it's really freaking delicious. I'm going to, oh, let me actually put the stove on. Okay, so this is what inspired this exact moment in time where I was like, press record. I was contemplating today what, um... Like, what was, like, the one of the first YouTube? This week, I am trying Dr. Bronner's virgin coconut oil. I used it for oil pulling. It did really taste like... God, I don't know. I feel like... Like... Not, like, tropical coconut, like, suntan lotion. It was more of, like, a... Like, an actual, like, Brazil nut or almond nut. Like... It was like a very distinct flavor. I don't recall you. I mean, I'm pretty stoked. Look how big this jar is. <laughs> yes. Sun tea will be made in that jar. So anyways, I'm heating up the pan. I'm putting that in there. So, oh, the video. So I was thinking, what was like one of the first YouTube videos that I could remember watching? And it was had a heart. My Drunk Kitchen, her first episode of, gosh, uh, I think it was, was it grilled cheese? 
yo, I'm just thinking now, like, how that movie possibly could have influenced my own interaction with other people. Because I, <laughs> that's like the food that I always make people. Grilled cheese. Oh, it's so good. It's, it's a lot. Because I cook the sandwich. First, I cut the bacon in half. Fry up the first half. While that's happening, get the um, cut up onions and then put in the pan with the bacon, the onions, so they can like kind of get fried up. And then you're getting like the cheese and the bread prepared on the side. And then when it's ready, you take out the bacon, you put the bacon on top of said cheese and onion combo, put the other bread on, and then you let the bacon, cook the sandwich. It's incredible. <laughs> and then as you're cooking, cause the bread is gonna obviously be soaking up all of this, um, <laughs> all of this bacon grease. Then you go ahead and you add the other bacon strips in. Hopefully your pan's big enough for at least two sandwiches. If you can get three, ideal. Cause you're gonna want, you're probably gonna want to have one and a half. Like that's like where it is. Oh, and if you have garlic salt, put it on there. Not necessarily saying that it's all good for you. I get the Trader Joe's. I'm just saying it tastes damn good. And so anyways, Hannah Hart was making grilled cheese, I believe. Red onion from the farm stand, shop local when you can. All right. Anyways, that is like the first YouTube video I remember watching, like distinctly. And then I was like thinking also like how when I was younger, I used to listen, creative energy comes out in many different ways. <laughs> but I used to, um, like my grandmother had this like huge window in her kitchen and it faced out into the forest and we would like... Rachel Ray was very popular at this time in my life. Um, so I would watch the Food Network all the time and it was like, I loved her $40 a day. Just like going around eating, which is funny because my vlogs, most of them are of me going around eating. And I did have the foray into the Foodstagram world for a while. It was fun. I ate in some really cool places. Nevertheless, Hannah Hart, one of my first YouTube videos ever, <laughs> and it's her getting drunk, <laughs> lol. That was like, I always think of that time in like uh, social media content, a lot of like, um, when it really felt like a lot less fake. <laughs> like some of the things really did feel like, oh yeah, like. That's happening. <laughs> like, that's uncomfortable. Like, real house, uh, like, real world, road rules, amazing race, like, some of those beginner survivors. Wow. <laughs> human nature is human nature. <laughs> so, anyways. That's what I was thinking about. So, I, and now I'm like, oh, I'm cooking. <laughs> kind of like, Hannah Hart slash Rachel Ray. Oh my God. That was such a fun job. Like that type of content was so fun. I felt like, you know what? This is the word. It, this is nutritional yeast. Um, it was felt more wholesome. Now everything just feels like a little excessive. Turmeric, more of it. You can't get enough turmeric in my opinion. I just don't like always mixing it with like sweet stuff. So I do try to maximize the experience when possible for savory foods, just <laughs> dumping it on. Oh, the last thing I'll say before I get going. I like to experiment with like new fruits and vegetables like when I go to the farm stand. So this week I had gotten um, Dakin radish. It looks like a mini white carrot so I cut it, you would have it raw. I cut it up 
So I did local lettuce, local red cabbage, carrots from Trader Joe's, onions from the farmer's market, local, and then um, the bacon and radish. And I kind of like cut everything up into like kind of sort of french fry-ish. Yeah. I don't always like having the lights on, so I like to cook by this here. It's like less aggressive. I've like been at work all day long, like so over, over like stimulated. Like, shout out to everyone who experienced, and this is like anybody, like shout out to everyone who has like a very cognitively stimulated job all the time, you know? Sustained levels of like extreme engagement. That can sometimes be taxing. So like take care of yourselves. Anyways, real quick, cause I gotta wrap this up. Um, so I put all the vegetables together, lettuce, cabbage, bacon, radish, carrots, onions. Not the lettuce, all the other ones. Soak them in uh, apple cider vinegar. Boop. On sale at Whole Foods until the 19th. <laughs> Olive oil, Trader Joe's, what's up? So far, I think this is the best value one. Although slightly smaller than some of the like similarly rated. I feel like this has a good flavor that doesn't taste like canola oil. Ugh. I don't, the last thing I want to do is be tasting canola oil. Anyways, so you soak them for like a day and a half or so. All the veggies. Oh, and the green apples. And this week I tried um, ugh, Asian pears. Try, like same thing, like put them like a french fry. Mix it all together, soak it. Put that on top of your lettuce. With some more olive oil, add a little more apple cider vinegar. You can never have too much of either of those, I believe. Delish. I'm telling you, it's good stuff. So anyways, I'm eating this salad. I'm eating this soup. I'm going to add this avocado. And I already, life hack, again, just get the, what's up the, whatever you can get stuff like and put it in the oven along with other like fresh fruit and vegetables. I'm like, do it. I'm like obsessed right now with carrots, with cinnamon, turmeric, and uh, sometimes nutritional yeast. They're so tasty. It's good because you can either heat them up in the frying pan. Try not to use the microwave, please, friends. Heat them up in the skillet or even just like reheat them in the oven if you have something else you're gonna cook, you know? Food prep. I didn't know my 20s were gonna be so useful now. Like, it was like, my 20s allowed me, like I just ran like never ending efficiency tests of like what would make me most efficient, most happy, most balanced. And now I'm just like living those out. And I still love cooking, food prepping, finding like super healthy recipes. And this is like all stuff that I really like to do like in my 20s and my kids, my like my childhood. So it's just interesting to be having like these moments of like, oh, whoa, like that's something from my past that isn't traumatic it's actually something so joyful and it's coming through and it like wants to express itself express itself in a new way within my universe and i'm like oh whoa this is what it feels like to just be as i like to say baseline joyful just doing things that are so yummy and literally in this case it's cooking this is so good oh i finally got this camera stand thing again look at that Proud of me, y'all. It's gonna be so good. Okay, also, I paused watching Black Magic and uh, KT arched the, uh, arched the degree. So I'm gonna finish this, get to this, and watch that. And I just wanna say, yeah, shout out to all of the space and grace to truly just be open to the experience of all the deliciousness is coming and being able to just see the world and hold many truths at once and still be able to sort through like a file cabinet which one belongs to me and isn't projected onto me it feels so good to just be like oh snap i know what i actually want i know what i want to bring in i feel aligned i know that doesn't work boundaries decisions self-love 
unconditional love for me and everyone around me. Yeah. All right, kittens, I'm out of here. Peace out.